This is Mobile Solar Consulting. We install Victron products in RVs and boats, and today we're gonna to show you how to install the Victron Orion XS and the XS 1400. The 1400 would be the exact same install process as you'll see today with the XS, but you can use the 1400 to charge a 12 or 24 volt battery. If you need any of these products, you can check out the links in the description. First, we're gonna mount it. Today, we're gonna use the Orion fan adapter. This is gonna automatically turn the fan on and off and keep the Orion cool, keep it around 86 degrees, instead of allowing the Orion to reach up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and turning on and off to you know protect itself temperature-wise. So this is gonna keep it pumping full power. Um, so first, we're gonna mount our Orion to this and then we'll mount this to the wall. If you're not using this, I would never suggest putting an Orion flat or putting it in a sealed box. Uh, once you have the fan, you can really mount it in any orientation you want. But if you're not using a fan, you, you wanna make sure it's getting as much airflow as possible. Maybe shim it off the wall. Um, make sure your compartment isn't closed off and sealed. Make sure it's well ventilated. Now we're gonna wire it up. We've got three wires to run for the Orion and we've got two wires to run for the fan. For the Orion wires, we normally use six gauge for any camper vans. They're mostly gonna be a 30 foot run or less between the positive and negative, and there's not a big voltage drop. When you get into pretty much any RV, there's gonna be a longer wire run for the most part, and we use four gauge wire. So we'll run that four gauge wire to a bus bar and then step it down to six gauge, just a few inches underneath of the Orion because it's very, very difficult to fit four gauge wire in the terminals there. So we're using the four gauge to reduce the voltage drop across that long wire run, but stepping it down to six so we can easily get it into the terminals. Today we're using six gauge wire, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna use a small screwdriver. This is a Phillips head number one to take off the plastic cover, a skinny flathead to loosen the terminals. We'll start with the wire that goes to our house battery or lithium battery. This is the battery that the Orion is gonna be charging. I've got a six gauge wire here with an uninsulated ferrule and I've got an MRBF fuse of 80 amps on the battery itself. If you wanna get fancy, Victron recommends 35 inch pounds of torque for six to four gauge wire. Next, I'm gonna hook up the positive wire that goes to the starter battery. This is gonna go on the input. A lot of people ask whether they should connect it to the starter battery or the alternator. It really doesn't matter. The alternator and the starter battery are already combined together in parallel. So by connecting to the starter battery, you are connecting to the alternator as well and vice versa. We're gonna land this on an Aegis breaker. Typically we'll use a 70 to an 80 amp breaker for the Orion. And again, we're landing these on our starter battery connections. Now we're gonna hook up the ground wire to the Orion. We get a lot of questions about where the other side of the ground wire should land. So we're gonna be landing this on a shared bus bar. We have one wire that goes to the lithium house battery and one wire that goes to the starter battery and they are combined on this bus bar. So for many of you, this would be your Lynx distributor. Obviously here we have a smaller setup today. You can see why four gauge would be hard to fit. It's hard even fitting the six gauge in there with a the ferrule on. Now I'm gonna take the fan adapter power wires and connect them to my lithium battery. So again, this could be your Lynx distributor, but for us today, we're just gonna go directly to the lithium battery. And this cable comes with an inline fuse. It 
it's always good to relieve the strain on the terminals. So we're gonna use a cable clamp and clamp the wires securely to the wall. I'm gonna quickly put the cover back on. And now we'll fire it up. So I'm gonna close the breaker here to provide power from the starter battery. And you're gonna see the lights begin to flash. Now we're gonna program the settings. So you can find the pin code on a sticker on the right hand side of the unit. You'll open Victron Connect on your phone. Go to the local tab, click on the product. You'll be prompted to enter the pin code, but I've already entered it, so my phone remembers the device. And you'll go to settings. Make sure it's set to charger mode. Adjust any settings you want. For battery settings, it comes factory default to charge a lithium battery. And it also has reasonable engine shutdown detection settings. It's usually set for a small smart alternator, which honestly works fine for most alternator types, but you may need to adjust those settings. So I hope it's working perfectly for you now, but if it's not and you need our settings guide or you need some help troubleshooting, don't hesitate to reach out. And if you wanna learn more about our in-house made fan adapter, you can click on the next video that's on screen now.